on this Tech Tuesday, we will show you clay testing for piston to valve clearances for safety. Now let's go. You know, you can spend a lot of money on buying wonderful clay, but we just got the normal kid stuff. That's a duck and a butterfly. What's up? We can't get enough of these. One up dome. It's, re it's really good. And the valve pockets are more than adequate. New water pump and tensioner so that we're ready to set the belt up when we clay it. Let's go. We form the clay into strips of four. This way, you get one on each valve pockets. This way, it's not that messy. Okay, now you make sure the dome has not much oil. This way, the clay would stick. Because if it's oily, it'll just, you know, create trouble or problems because as the valves touch the clay it might pull it off from its position you know i just try to put it a little more secure and you know i've seen people put clay on the whole freaking dome you don't have to do that it's just a waste of clay you know you just need to put on certain spots where you need to check for a piston to valve clearance that's it and plus you know it doesn't look messy or it doesn't look like a bunch of kids played with the clay all right now we put the dowels in the used gasket so that it's already compressed and we put the head studs you don't have to torque this to the maximum level just around 20 or 30 feet pounds because the gasket is already compressed it's already used we don't use a brand new head gasket just for this oh and for we forgot the rocker arm we gotta lock the v-tech on the rocker arm getting the intake rock arm in all right yeah v-tech yo then the exhaust rocker arms we're gonna test this with the Pro 2 cams, Skunk 2 Pro 2, just as we're building the B20 VTEC. Now onto the cam caps, get all ready, and the rail, hand tight before fully tightening them. It's gonna take a while, so we just speed it up. There. And now the gates racing timing belt. Thanks, Ed. Now we got this from you guys. We're gonna get it snug and installed properly. Now you can see the rocker arms move. Yeah. Now after turning it, here we are. You can see on the cam gear, it's zero on the intake and plus two on the exhaust. Just how we did the valve to valve. And you can click here for that video. Now, after removing the belt, right, and then we re remove the cam rail one by one, loosening it, all right, then the cam caps, and then careful with the cams. We lift the head, so let's see how the clay is. Oh, okay, now here we are. We cut the clay with a cutter. We cut it in half because, you know, we gotta see how thick it is or how thin it is, giving us the idea of how much valve to piston clearance that we have, you know? We should go with 0 0.040 or one millimeter. And this gives us room for slight misshifts or over rev without 
hitting the pistons with a valve. So, you know, we try to avoid blowing up engines like that. Now, here we go. This is zero on the intake and advanced two degrees on the exhaust. Let's look closer. Oh, still safe, you know. You have to have at least one millimeter or 0 0.040, and this is more than enough. So, now on to the next task. Now we put clay again, and this time we advanced two degrees on the intake and four on the exhaust. Okay, back to the head, the head studs, hand tight, and then the cams, caps, rail, right? So you can see, with clay testing, we go as far as three or four times removing and installing the head. That's a lot of work, right? But hey, you gotta do it. Right, now after one full turn, here we are with the cam gears. As you can see, the intake is advanced two degrees. You can see the number two, it's aligned. There. Now the exhaust is advanced four degrees. Over there, it's aligned. Okay, now we're gonna check how the clay is. Okay, here we are, loosening the tension, removing the belt, and then the rail to get to remove the cam caps, and then careful with the cam, of course. Now we can lift the head, move the head studs, right? Now we go. Now on with the cutter. We cut the clay in half again, just to see the actual thickness. This way, we know the distance between the valve and the piston. Just to be sure, you know. We include the exhaust. This is advanced two degrees on the intake and advanced four degrees on the exhaust. So, you'll see if it's giving us less or the same clearance for safety, all right? Okay, now we move closer and check the clay, all right? Sorry about the shake, all right? Here you can see on the intake, it's a little bit closer, but it's still over one millimeter or 0 0.040. And you can check that, we, we've checked that several times with the caliper and the filler gauge. Through experience, we know it's thick. So basically, we have checked the zero and advanced two degrees on the intake and it's still safe. We actually tried until advanced three degrees on the intake and that's about the limit. So we will stick to positive two or advanced two degrees as maximum. You have to understand that after we do this, it lets us gain confidence whenever we degree the cams because we know the certain windows of safety for the engine from valve to valve to piston to valve. So it actually gives you more confidence and security even on the dyno. Click here for more to help you understand and improve your theories and knowledge on engines. And you know you gotta subscribe just to keep up to date on the new things that we continue to share.